For those of you guys looking to get a job in the game development industry, here are a few tips that if implemented correctly can increase your chances to get a job by 100 times. Now, the first thing that I advise my students in my game development academy and now to you is never put your education on a resume. What do I mean by that? Well, I see a lot of people putting things like I have a certification from this course or from that course or I finished this boot camp and that boot camp. Those things ain't going to cut it. Just list your skills and make them wonder. Make the recruiter ask you about your skills because then you will have, you can have a better opportunity then to express yourself and explain what you actually know and how you learn all of that. But if you list like, certification completion from some random course online from a weird dude you're watching on YouTube. Not me, but yeah, it's not going to cut it. Your skills are what matters. The second thing that I advise my students in the academy is not to put too many things on their resume. The other day, one of my followers has sent me his portfolio to check it out and give him feedback. And when I inspected it, I saw that he put like 50 different skills that he can do. Now, don't get me wrong. Even if he can do all of those things, nobody's going to believe that. Let's be real. If you list like 10, 15 programming languages that you can do and you're 30 years old or whatnot, nobody's going to believe you that. He's going to think that you only know the basics and you can scratch or you scratch the surface of all those programming languages and you don't know in depth the things that they need. Instead, what I advise is list a few things. If you know five programming languages, list the two or three, the best ones that you know the most. And that is it. And also back them up with projects that you did with those languages, demonstrating that you actually know them. And I highly advise this. This is what I tell my students in the academy as well. Make sure that you write clean code and that you learn programming design patterns. If you don't know what they are and what that is, you can look that up in my academy. Link is down below. But when you master those and you create a few games using those patterns and you display them, then you have a much better chance to land that job that you're looking for. Number three, and this is a weird thing that you will not hear anywhere else, and that is tell a story in your portfolio. And I don't mean your story when you were a little kid and you peed in your pants and everybody laughed, ha ha ha, ki, ki. No, I mean your journey from, you know, new to a pro. But of course, I don't mean make a novel and write 300 pages. No, in a few words, if you know, and you can look that up online, how to write good and express yourself. You have, you know, dictionaries and whatnot. So you can look that up and use really cool words, words, words to express yourself. But anyways, when you write something catchy and, and something that is, you know, inspiring, it makes a difference when you put that on your resume. Number four, and this is a pro tip, when you apply to a company for a certain position, go on LinkedIn and find somebody from that company who is connected to the position that you have applied to and approach them. Contact them and introduce yourself. Tell them who you are, what you're doing, what you plan to do in the company, what you can bring to the table, how you can improve, whatever they're looking for, and why you are the ideal candidate they should pick instead of, you know, other people who have applied. So that really, if done correctly, if you don't beg, if you are not annoying, if you just make a good impression of yourself, that makes a huge difference to getting that job. Number five, and this is the most valuable advice that I will give you that you will not hear anywhere else, and that is make a buzz. What do I mean by that? Well, let me give you an example. I don't know if you follow UFC. I follow it. I like blood. I'm weird. Anyways, there was this fighter called Chael Sonnen, and he was very good at branding himself, talking his way through the crowd. And every title shot that he got was because of his mouth. And it's not that he was a bad fighter. He was a good fighter, but there were other fighters who were way better than him, more experienced, stronger, and whatnot. But he got those title shots because he branded himself, he made a buzz, he talked a lot, and he got the opportunity. What does that tell you? Well, something that I talk a lot in my Game Development Academy and I focus my whole job part of getting the job in my academy around that is branding yourself as a developer. When you brand yourself as a developer, when you have a presence online and people see you, people know you, then you are more likely to get a job even if you're competing against more experienced and better developers than yourself. And this is not a bad thing. You will, of course, you will be equipped and qualified to do the job, same as the other guys. But you are more, you are simply branded. You are, you you made the buzz, and they didn't make a buzz. And this is something that no 
developers are doing online. And if you do this, then you have a huge advantage over all other developers. And I can guarantee this because I get job offers without even applying to them. If you're on my email list, I send them out so that you can see like job offers that I get. And those companies contact me because I branded myself and you should do that too. Anyways, this was it from me. If you like these tips, make sure that you subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment and join my academy. What else can I say? And I will see you guys in the next video.